All right. It's called Big Gamble. This is a better word to, to call it a shoryuken. If somebody likes to mash, pressing buttons, think of their godlike, you know what I'm saying? They think they're the GOAT, and then after that, wow, I, I actually got the, <laughs> I actually got it right. I, I was just pressing buttons. <laughs> Smug with the greatest of ease. You know, people were telling me to try Persona 4, so today is the day. <laughs> all right, mm, we're not gonna talk about this chat, all right? Yo, chat, should I do like a lesson mode? What should I do? You said, I mean, if you think you're OD, do challenge mode. Nah, 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 nah. I, I ain't feeling myself like that yet. <laughs> I would, but nah, 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 I never played the game before, so maybe like in a week. Okay, when I'm feeling myself, then yeah, maybe. We'll think about it. They teach you how to walk in this game chat? They teach you how to walk. I like the game already. You said you gotta learn how to walk before you can wash. This is true, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start with basic movement. Try making your character move from side to side. Okay, move forward, walk back. All right, cool. You did it. I like how they, they hype you up in this game too. They be like, you did it, let's go. Now try crouching. See, chat, this is where it gets very complicated. Anybody could just move forward and backwards with the greatest of ease. But can you try crouching with the greatest of ease? Yo, chat, I bet y'all thought I, maybe four. I will land trying to learn how to crouch in my first try. Okay. Where my five dollars at? A what five bucks? You put the fun in fundamentals. I did? I mean, <clears throat> of course I did, you know? <laughs> jump by pressing up. Press up again in midair to double jump. Yo, you saw how high he went into the sky? Try pressing square while standing, crouching, and jumping. Okay. Okay. Next, perform a strong attack. The weak persona attack will summon your persona for an attack. Oh, that's a cool looking move. What in the JoJo's is going on here, chat? All right, so standing D. What is this? Hiya. Oh, his stand come out. All right, never mind. I thought it was like an attack like this. Like, hoo, hoo. Oh, he hit you like this. You saw that like, ugh. Additional D. Oh, it's like a, a follow-up. Okay. If you time it right, you can attack at the same time. Try teaming against your opponent. I don't even know how to do a, a, a fireball or anything like that. Like, I, I'm not ready yet. I just learned how to walk. <laughs> like, what? All right, now let's cover defense. Let's begin with the standing block. You hold back away from your opponent and block three attacks. Okay. One. Two more. Two. Three. All right, cool, cool, cool. To perform a crouch and block, all right, you hold down back. All right, cool. Quickly press forward two times to dash. Oh yeah, and you can back dash too. All right, cool. Yo, Street Fighter 6, y'all better have a tutorial like this. Come on. Y'all better have something very explainable. Like I literally understood what they told me to do. I understood. See, like in Street Fighter, they just give you a command list and then you figure it out. All right, air recovery. Hold any button while being knocked into the air. Oh, okay. Take a hit from the opponent and hold one of the attack buttons when you hit the ground. So it's like a, a quick rise? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, cool. The auto combo system allows you to perform a combo with just one button. Okay, so it's like a combo? Oh! Oh, shoot. Oh, nah. The P combo system allows you to chain your attacks. For example, weak attack to strong attack to weak persona. Hmm, okay. My man in the chat said, oh, oh, cough, cough, <laughs> melty blood. Come on, man, why, why, are you trying, why are you trying to start a beef between these two games, man? They just, they're trying to teach you how to walk and stuff and then on your mind it's just, oh, they got me in another game. What if great minds think alike? Have you ever took that into consideration? No, you have not. By holding down, uh, I, I call it square, but that's just light punch or whatever. The S hold gauge will appear, and by releasing the button at the right time, you can unleash skills and SP skills. Oh, like, it's literally a bar right there. Oh, you get another attack? 
Mmm. They got some interesting mechanics in this game. An all out attack is a powerful attack that cannot be blocked low. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, wow. I okay, all right, this, that, that was cool. A furious action is a powerful skill that has invincibility. It's called Big Gamble. This is a better word to, to call a Shoryuken. From now on, every time I see a move that's like a reversal DP, if somebody likes to mash, right? If some people like to mash and stuff, pressing buttons, think that they're godlike, you know what I'm saying? They think they're the GOAT, and then after that, wow, I, I actually got the, <laughs> I actually got it right. I, I was just pressing buttons. <laughs> What I was trying to say was, all of these people that like to mash, I'ma really call it the big gamble from now on. So, oh I, oh, I think I did a throw. So that's how you throw? You say you can also throw opponents while in the air. Use the throw escape move to prevent opponents from throwing you. Yo, I, I, bro, that's mad fast to, all right, damn, that was mad fast to react to, like, yo. Perform skills while entering a sequence of commands. Press down, down, forward, forward in a circular motion. And then press triangle to use Zio, Zio. Many skills allow you to skill boost them by pressing square X or triangle and circle simultaneously. They're powerful, but cost 25 SP, so don't overuse them. When you have 50 SP, you can use an SP skill by inputting certain commands. Like that. Let's try skill boosting Zeodine as well. Mmm, nice. Alright, you said when your HP gets l below a certain point, you will awaken. Take damage from your opponent until you have reached the awakened state. Okay. Okay, hit me. Ouch. I eat those, whatever. Alright, whatever. Okay, alright, cool. Oh, nah. Did it, my man just got electrocuted for his life. Y'all saw that? I gotta press three buttons at the same time? Reversal burst. Oh, okay. That remind me of Guilty Gear Strive with like the bursts. When you are not being attacked, you can perform a max burst instead. Hitting the opponent with it will refill your SP gauge. They got so many mechanics. Every two buttons is going to give you something. You got hops in this game? The heck was that? Oh, you evade moves in the air? Oh, shoot. Dash cancels allow you to cancel the end of certain moves with the dash, allowing you to get close to the opponent. Oh, okay. See what happens when you are panicked. When in the panic state, left and right when the directional pad are reversed. What? Oh, no. What? My inputs are reversed? So that means if the inputs are backwards, I gotta mash backwards? How am I gonna mash backwards? I got nerfed while learning. I literally got nerfed. I can't mash. This is not fair already. I don't want to learn no more. No. Yo, chat. Yeah, I remember back in like, you know, when you in kindergarten, everything is cool. You play with your blocks. You know what I mean? You got your Hot Wheels. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You, you chilling, right? But then the higher the grade you go, you think it's cool. It's lit. And then until you get to the, you get to the second grade, where you start learning multiplication, fractions, division. And then you think that's all right. You start learning how to having remainders while dividing, and you gotta divide fractions and stuff. That's what I have to do right now, man. Nobody wanna learn that. I, nobody, I promise you guys, anybody that went to school, nobody wants to take the time out their day to learn how to divide fractions. You'd rather be eating pretzels somewhere or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Eat your Lunchables. <laughs> you rather do that, like, come on. Try backstepping and walking backwards, moving away from the opponent for an extended period of time. Punishment awaits those without the will to fight. You will be penalized if you keep running away for too long. So, Justin Wong, you would not like this game because that is your specialty with the greatest of ease. Oh! But I respect it though because, you know, it was a very hard strategy to stop. You broke the game. We understand, but in this game, they said, nah, nah, we're not gonna have Justin Wong playing this game just thinking he could do whatever he want. Th Justin Wong, they're talking to you, okay? Right here, they, they're talking to you. A guard cancel attack is a powerful counter attack that uses 50 SP. 
So this is like a V reversal, pretty much, from like Street Fighter V. Guard cancel evasive action is an excellent dodge maneuver that costs 50 on the SP gauge. Look at my meter down here, look, 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 you see this? It's gonna go away, it's gonna disappear once I, I do it. You see it? It starts blinking, it starts flashing. And I always think it's very important to look at your meter compared to driving. Pretend these are like your rear view mirrors. Always look out, you know what I mean? Always look at your rear view mirrors, all of that. Don't just look at it one time, then just ignore it. No, don't do that. Press backwards on the directional pad just before an opponent's attacks hit you to perform an instant block. All right, cool. A one more cancel uses 50 SP to cancel an attack's recovery time. That was kind of hard to do, but I, I got it. You know what that remind me of in a way? Guilty Gear like a Roman cancel, but I might be wrong, but it, it feels like it. By using a one more burst, you can use the shockwave from the burst to form a combo. Hmm. An instant kill is a flashy move that finishes off your opponents, no matter how much health remains. When you have full meter and your logo or whatever is flashing right here, when you see this flash, that's when you can use it. So with me, I will random out my opponent with the greatest of ease and make him salty. Once they see my character is flashing, I'm whipping it out like this. You don't want to lose to me like this. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> yo, Matt, yo, chat, what would y'all do if it was Evo Grand Finals? It's last game, last round. You got the first attack. You doing all the stylish combos. You are washing this person. And you are one game, you are literally one round away from winning Evo just for that person to wake up with that. And he wins and takes your clout. What are you doing about that? <laughs> and then, you know, it's funny after that, he pops off. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>